break down the numbers here. Let's say your gross commissions for the year were $60,000. And your franchise fee, let's just go with 6% for now. Most traditional real estate companies don't have a franchise fee cap. Let's say your split is 50%. So in other words, your brokerage here is getting 50%. And that's what this number is. And we'll put no brokerage cap in there. Now, E&O's uh, based at 60000 using an estimate of, let's say, 3% commissions. That brings you to about $2 million in business. And a lot of the companies out here have a per side, per transaction E&O insurance. So it's going to run you roughly about $500. Your desk fee or other fixed costs at a lot of the traditional companies is around 300 some more, some less. Again, this form is downloadable. Or you can contact me and we can fill out the numbers together to make really compare apples to apples with your company and our company and see where the dollar benefits you. So based on this here, we're looking at a $60,000 gross commission, less franchise fee, less company dollar split, less e &O, less desk and other fees. Your current net is $25,600 and your broker kept $34,400. Now come over here. This is if you were at Keller Williams, that same $60,000, you're going to pay that 6% franchise fee again up to a cap of $3,000. Once you hit that $3,000, you pay no more franchise fee the rest of the year. Your brokerage split, you pay 30% to the brokerage house until you hit $18,000 cap and then you're at 100%. Our E&O is a one-time fee of $120 no matter how many transactions you do. And our desk fee, well ours is actually a tech fee for uh, a lot of the tech that you receive from us. And it's $10 a month, which equals 120 a year. So with us, at that same 60,000, you're paying 3,000 franchise, you're paying 18,000 to the company dollar, 120 E&O, 120 tech fee. So your net income is 38,760 with us versus the 25,600 that you would have had at the other firm, leaving your broker an additional 13,160, which you could use for your own advertising for your own marketing, a lot of things that you can use the 13160 for. Now let's take it up a notch. Let's say that good year, you're at 100,000. Now let's get rid of the franchise fee. And let's say now that you're at a 70 30 split, so the company's only getting 30%, your ENO's going to go up to, let's see here, 100,000. Uh, let's just say about $850. Leave the desk fee the same. So here now you're looking at 100,000 100, gross. The company's taking 30. Um, you're paying the 850 E&O, the 300 desk fee. Leave your current net for the year of $68,850. Your broker keep it $31,150. Versus coming over here, your net is 78760 giving had you stayed with your company, you're paying your broker an extra $9,900, which again, you could use for your own business. So th this helps you explain a little bit about how our comparisons work. Um, again, I'd love to do a personal one for you. Contact me. Um, and thanks for watching this. Have a great day.